Hi, my name is Dr. Chinwe Ichazu. Um, an easy way to think about it, my first name is Chinwe, like Chin and go that way. And my last name is Ichazu. Um, what brought me into this field was a very, very early introduction. My mother actually showed my sisters and I videos of our births when we were extremely young. At the time, I certainly didn't know what I was watching or what I was witnessing, but what I did know is that it stirred a lot of emotions inside of me and made me very excited. And no pun intended, I think it was actually the birthing of my passion and what I was destined to do. And along the way during my training, I just realized that everything fit. OBGYN really does encompass everything that I want. It allows me to make really special bonds and have meaningful relationships with patients. It also allows me to use my hands and to practice surgery, which I absolutely love and adore. And so everything has pretty much been confirmed along the way that I'm right where I belong. I absolutely love what I do. I am intentionally a general OBGYN, meaning I perform both obstetrics and gynecology. Um, and that's intentional because I absolutely love obstetrics, but my specialties actually lie within gynecology, specifically minimally invasive gynecologic surgery. And that includes both laparoscopic surgery and robotic assisted laparoscopic surgery. In addition to that, I also perform minor procedures in the office within the spectrum of gynecology. And I also provide counseling and management of things like contraception, abnormal uterine bleeding, and whatever patients may be going through in their life related to women's health. So if I had to eat one food for the rest of my life, I don't need to think about it at all. It's definitely plantains. I am 100% obsessed with plantains. I will never say no. And now that I've learned how to air fry them and they're not as many calories, I eat them all the time. So the most daring thing that I've ever done was about five to six years ago, I decided that I was going to travel to South America totally by myself. I did not know a soul and I lived there for one month and it was literally one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Um, I stayed with a host family till this day. My host mom still, I still have a relationship with her. Uh, we actually spoke not too long ago for my birthday. Um, and I was really passionate about improving my Spanish proficiency and fluency. And I, at this point, I'm not completely fluent, but I, do fairly well with holding a conversation and understanding patients. And it's a very special skill um, that I cherish and I definitely want to be able to communicate with my patients. And so that was the thought behind it. And it gave me that and so much more. I would do it all over again if I could. And it was very daring, but it was amazing.